What's good, Homo Squad? It's your boy, Homo Ziggy, and we back here with another reaction. And as you see by this thumbnail, we're here with the Vigilante Deku rap, Do It On My Own, with Schwabity featuring Young Flex. Throw that away. Now, hold on, let me click my little record button here. Give me a second. Come on, come on, here we go. Now, he just dropped this today. And I'm gonna be honest, judging by how the thumbnail, as you saw at the start of it, how the way how it looks, we about to get some freaking energy on it. And it's produced by Modestro, because I heard that Schwabity said at one time, I heard Schwabity said before that whenever he's doing songs, especially when it comes to Modestro, when it comes to his beats, it be freaking crazy just out of control make you really want to just go picking just basically have intensity on it so and we are and if you don't remember i did re i did remember reacting to young flex because he was on game boy jones's shigaraki rap pop fingers to the place if you haven't go check out my reaction to that but hey either way we about to check this out make sure you like comment and subscribe Follow me on all my socials up there, and without further ado, let's get in the video. Shout out to Reese on the edits. Yeah, if I'ma do it right, then I'm gonna do it on my own. Already, Modestro with the beat, bro, that beat is crazy. Already, within 30 seconds in, the beat automatically slaps. And if y'all remember this scenario that I'm in right now, this is my, in Jamaica right now, this is my third, this is our third bedroom and such for any time when we use it for guests or so, but sometimes, I would have to come in here and such, but either way, hope y'all hope that don't distract y'all. And if you're here, yes, that's the fan. So trust me, you thought my room over there was hot. Trust me, in here, this is way more hotter. Honest to God, this is way way more hotter. So that for shit sure that fan is staying on. I don't care what anybody say. I don't care if y'all. Say there's too much background noise. It's basically like this. Y'all get a re if y'all doing reactions, right? And you know for sure your fan you know for sure your room sometimes gets hot. React without no fan in the back. React. I don't care how much you would have to want to make sure they hear your voice. React without no fan in the background. And trust me, you're gonna be feeling hot. So yeah, that fan, it's definitely gonna stay there. But regardless of that, back to this, already within 30 seconds, like I say, the beat is slapping. said before whether it's manga spoilers show spoilers does it matter no i come for the music because at the end of the day like i said before during my other videos i'm just the minute i react to something and even if it has spoilers let's face it when days go by weeks go by months go by you think i'm gonna remember that there were spoilers and such heck to the no i ain't gonna remember so trust me i don't give a damn if this is spoiling me or not 
point is I'm here for the music. So trust me when I say I'm gonna, once I get my ish together, trust me, I'm gonna come back. I'm gonna, what's it called, like, rekindle my watching for My Hero Academia. But either way, back to this. Like you just said, sometimes you be too cautious. Now you're turning your stuff into mosh pits. Hey, sometimes in life, sometimes you can't always want to go by the book. Sometimes you always can't just want to play safe. You want to be adventurous, right? You want to go crazy sometimes, right? And hey, who don't want to go crazy a little sometimes here and there? I know I do. Young Flex got that freaking like he got that underground level type mainstream I would say cuz you it's basically like this there's two levels to mainstream there's like the commercial mainstream where you see every artist like the popular artist that you see and then to me there's underground mainstream where even if when you it's basically when you got a particular type of sound and it will just fit underground where and people underground will love it who like the like underground stuff where it's just not only energy but bars freaking charisma and all that that's what this shit is gonna be that's what this shit to me sound like it should be Not only intensity but sauciness. One thing with Schwabity, and I've said this before, when it comes to Schwabity, Game Boy Jones too as well. Them too, right? I know about these people, but let's face the facts. If I remember when I did a little talk, discussion or so on why I feel like Nerdcore is more mainstream, is Nerdcore better than mainstream? It's because it's basically like this. Or like the, what's it called, the freaking turning points of Nerdcore, right? Is with Schwabity and Game Boy. These guys, and I know there's other artists, but I'm just saying, these two main guys, to me, and maybe to others too, they know how to make songs that could be for different formats, whether it's club, whether it's party, whether it's R&B, like those type of formats, or in this case, mosh pits. This definitely right here, you hear this, immediately when you put this on, there everybody is gonna lose their shit. Straight up. Because, I mean, like I said at the start, within the first 30 seconds of that beat rallying up, you already know. People are, you know when in mosh pits they do that little circle thing, going, going around in circles, like they're warming up, nigga. The beat itself is just going to make them warm up to go crazy. And then with the intensity in the lyrics, yeah, and then it has a little saucy vibe to it, bro. That's what Schwabity and most of the time Game Boy Jones are known for with them formats and such because they know how to nail it to perfection. Everybody else too, don't get me wrong, but these two, somehow these two always know how to do it so perfect. Fucking I'm breaking their bones, coming straight for that throw. Way too with my zone, I said I'm gonna be setting this throw. Little boy, watch your tongue, came here to make shit know. Overthrown if I'm gonna do it right, then I'm gonna do it on my own.
you owe me that and half a far I go Bring the pussy, bring your whole team, I'm the boss, I lay them low I'ma keep this shit a hundred down, I never make it home, nah But if I'ma do it right, then I'm gonna do it on my own, yo Yo, my destro. Yo, let me get this play out. I'm gonna show it on my own. Yo. My destro. My, my destro. This freaking beat, nigga. This is mosh pit energy type beat personified, nigga. And then Schwabity and Young Flex. I can see why Schwabity said he wanted to collab with Young Flex for a long time. Because nigga. And because the, re the reason why he he come to it later. Sooner rather than later. Is because Game Boy Jones beat him to it. Because like I said. Game Boy Jones had that Shigaraki rap. But regardless. I can see why. Because this nigga Young Flex. He turned it up. but And at the end of the day. Schwabity. Sorry. Schwabity is Schwabity. Nigga always gonna always come with the freaking intensity, the freaking punchlines, the, en the energy. Like, dude. One thing, to be honest, and that's I feel like why I love with Schwabity is just the freaking energy this nigga comes with on the songs. But hey, y'all let me know what y'all thought about this in the comments below. And if you made it this far, if you're a real Humble Squad member, comment down below intensity. Because that's what this song was all about. But yeah, like I said, this was the vil vil I can't even talk. The Vigilante Deku rap with Schwabity featuring Young Flex, Do It On My Own. Let me know what you thought about this in the comments below. Make sure to go check out my other reactions right here or anywhere. Just make sure you go check out my other reactions. It's been your boy Homo Ziggy signing out. Stay positive and keep the vibes up. Lego.